Okay, good morning. Today's Thursday the 20th of December. Countdown is on. Two days to go. So uh, today we are here, starting here, Roskilde. Um, cycling across the Schellen today to a town called Slails. So, uh, Schellen or Zeeland I think it's called in English. It's actually an island because uh, Denmark consists of 443 islands I think it is. And uh, this is the, the biggest one. Um, there's three major parts of Denmark. One is uh, Sealand, Sealand, where we are now. And there's uh, the island of Foon, where we live. And that's where we're going tomorrow. And then there's a, a peninsula called Jutland, or Jutland in Danish, that's connected to Germany. Yes. So that's the three major parts of Denmark. And today we are cycling over a large island called Sealand. So, and we uh, can show you on the Google Maps. Yeah, we'll show you later. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, this is the island where Copenhagen is, you saw that yesterday. We're following one of the major national cycling routes today, which is a signposted cycling route. It goes all the way from Copenhagen to Esbjerg. There's many cycle routes in Denmark. They uh, cross up and down, in and out, everywhere. You can basically go anywhere you want with a cycle route. You just follow the signposts and away you go. It takes you on the quieter roads, more scenic roads usually. So that's what we're doing today. So, you ready to go? Yes, I want 70. 70 kilometers, not sure yet, about 70. 70 kilometers, or 75 yeah. kilometers. Well, uh, first thing today is this evening when we get to Slaelse, we will be meeting up with uh, Meta again. It's been two months ago since we saw her. It's going to be a nice evening and uh, together with her parents are coming as well, Torben and Lena. Yeah. And tomorrow they'll be driving us over the bridge tomorrow to Foom because you can't take your bikes on the bridge. So yeah. That's roughly the uh, rough plan for today. So should we go and see some more of Denmark? Yes. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go to Dunkirk in Denmark. Lots of children behind me because they're going to school now. Yeah. But we are cycling. So let's go cycling. Now it's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. It's just about getting light here now. So we can set off now. Just outside our hotel, we pick up the first sign for the cycle route. Number 6 is the national one. We follow it. This cycle route crosses Denmark and it passes right by the school where we're going tomorrow, Jamie's school. So that's, uh, that's going to be easy now. A lot of houses in Denmark, they have this uh, yellow colour here. You also see it a lot up in a town called Skane in the north of Denmark. We also have, you see quite a lot of places over Denmark, these yellow houses. So we have to cycle with our lights on. It's 9.30 in the morning and it's still very dark. Well, not dark, but dark. Not oh, much light. Another grey sky. But, uh, luckily it's not uh, snowing or icy and it's not really that cold. It's, it's only about 30 degrees colder than what we had three days ago, but never mind. It's okay, no problem. It's about three or four degrees here today. And, uh, quite lucky we got a kind of a tailwind, which is not very usual. Usually the wind blows from the west in Denmark most of the time. The last Two days, yesterday was a, a wind from the east and also today, which makes it easier for us. I expected to be battling in heavy headwinds today, but uh, yeah, that's quite lucky. Vikings have been a little village here and uh, that is why there are so many 
hills here where they are buried. So that is why there have been a village here. You can see the Vikings here. You can see the descriptions, the stones. You can see the cows and the Viking soldiers here. So also, this is the da the biggest Danish history is the Vikings. Mm. So can pass can pass the Viking stone ship. So we saw those stones. Okay, let's go. hotels in Denmark cost compared to Thailand and Cambodia for example. Well, the hotels we've been staying the last two days they cost between four and five times as much as what we've been paying for the resorts in Thailand and probably ten times as much as we paid for some of the guest houses in Cambodia. It's a completely different world regarding prices. I uh, think what about food as well? Well we paid uh, yeah probably six times as much yesterday for an omelet with a bit of bacon on uh, compared to what we would pay for a whole dinner in Thailand. Completely different prices here in Denmark. Okay, we have to give up on the uh, cycle route there, which is too slow, going too many uh, dirt tracks and uh, taking us, yeah, not really the direct route, so we'd never get there today. So we gave up on that, has taken uh, normal roads for a while now. And now it's uh, lunchtime, just found this nice Danish grill here. And Jerry's been uh, looking forward to hot dogs. That's what we're doing now. And he's in here waiting for his hot dog. <laughs> you ready for your hot dog? Yes, mm -hmm. ready. So tell me, how's your first hot dog in 10 months? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back on the road after lunch, 33 kilometers to go in Siles. We're just sticking to this uh, kind of road now just to make sure we get there on time. This time, this is 3,500 year old burial tombs here. Massage, Jamie. Yeah, place for two. Yes, <laughs> I like Thai massage. Okay, now we're in Slaelsa. Have a quick look at the town here, and then we're going to find the place we're staying. Okay, now we're going to Slaelsa. Okay, now we're going to Slaelsa.
Okay. Okay, this is the place where we're staying today, and Mom and Momo and Mofa will uh, come, and Lena and Tobin will come here and um, and see us. So that would be great. And we are staying one of the cottages over here, and we will stay together and sleep together. So we will be together today. So that is a great fall. So yeah, I'm very, I'm very glad that they are coming today. So yeah, I have a bit the uh, butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> Looks like the owner has, uh, likes uh, Santa Claus here. He's always having a nice cup of tea. He only hears from Turkey, so we're having a good chat with him to him about uh, Turkey. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the place we're staying today. Let's and go and have a look. Something special with our room is that I don't know why, but it's just. We put flags outside. I think Momo and Moa and Mofa have uh, made it to the men and said they need to put all the flags in to us. What have, what have they done? I don't know. <laughs> they put oh. something to pride. Oh, look at this. It's all uh, decorated with Danish flags. <laughs> okay, so now we're here in Slaelsa. Just turned up in this uh, it's a kind of a log cabin. It's uh, quite typical in Denmark. You can stay on different campsites, you can stay in these things. So this is one for sleeps about six people. That's perfect. So uh, yeah, we had a okay day today. It was a bit grey all day and raining most of the time, lightly. So uh, but uh, yeah, we made it across Shilland okay. So uh, that was good. So uh, now we're here. In about uh, one and a half hours, Meadow will be here together with Lena and Torben. Oh, that's really nice. It's uh, nearly two months now since we saw Meadow and uh, her parents in uh, Nepal. So yeah, that'll be really nice. So then we'll have a nice evening here together again. So that's great. So uh, yeah, and the plan is uh, tomorrow we'll be up early. We'll be um, taking the bikes on uh, Torben's car because you can't actually uh, ride your bikes over the bridge. It's a very long bridge, 16 kilometers long. Um, that's not allowed to take bikes. You can take them on the train or you can uh, do what we're going to do, put them on the car and be driven over. I'll be driven to uh, Odense, or Dens as it's known in English. Um, that's the town of uh, where Hans Christian Andersen is from. We'll quickly show you where he was uh, born and used to live. And then uh, we'll cycle to Jamie's school. It's about a 15 kilometer bike ride. And uh, if all goes well, we should be there around about 10.30. And uh, he can see one of his school friends after 10 months where he haven't, hasn't seen them. So, uh, yeah, should be a very interesting day tomorrow. Okay, we'll uh, have a nice evening here when uh, Meadow and Lena turn up and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, say hello everybody. Hello. hello. Meadow is back. Torben and Lena are back. <laughs> Jamie's still here. Yes. Now we're going to have nice Chinese food. And this is what Meadow looks like now. Her explorer hair is gone. Yeah. Now she's got nice short black hair. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> looks mm. good. Yes. <laughs>